I actually had to come out to the studio today and defrost the uh, microphone and 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 the the board because it's so it's cold. It's so chilly out here. It's fifty five degrees currently in in the studio, which is kind of insane to me. But fine. This is the Bumper Podcast. I am Natty Bumpercar. It is wonderful to talk to you today. How are you? I've missed you so much. No, no, really, I have. I Sometimes people say, how are you? And they don't actually want you to answer because it's, it's like a formality, right? It's like, oh, how are you doing? And then you have to make the mental societal calculation of, do I actually tell them how I'm doing? Do they really want to know how I'm doing? Or do I just go, ah, oh, I'm fine. Things are good. Like, right? But then sometimes they'll press a little bit. They'll go, ah, how's the family? How's the job? How's the wife? And it's like, oh, you're opening the door. You're really opening the door to, uh, to I'm going to start talking. And I'm going to give you information. And then you're going to, you know, wish you hadn't. You know, because a lot of times the uh, how's it going is, is pretty surface because the people that you're saying, how's it going to, uh, that generally implies to me at least that you haven't, you know, talked to them in a little while and maybe you're not up on the day to day. And so, you know, the people who do know how it's actually going, they, they, they probably know for, you know, for the most part. So they don't have to say, how's it going? Because they just know. So then the people who come up to you and say, how's it going? They, they aren't up on the news, right? They, they don't get your, they don't subscribe to your newsletter, right? They don't read your, uh, your, your blog, they, your RSS feed. They're not watching your TikToks. They don't know how it's going. And so when you're like, well, woo, actually there's a lot going on. Then you can see like their their the skin on their face kind of tighten up a little bit, and they go, "Oh no, what have I gotten myself into?" Ah, all right, and you know, and then they try to walk. Okay, as well, it's great to see. I'm gonna no 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 no. <laughs> oh friend, you just asked me how it was going, and I am going to. Do you have 45 minutes? Because I'd like to tell you how it's going. I'd like to tell you every single bit of how it is going. And um, so that's why uh, it's it's a very uh, not transitional, but just a it's a very transitory. I don't know what the word I'm going for, but it's 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 not a real question. It's not you know like hey bud, let's hang out, let's sit down right now and hash this out. Let's have a cup of hot liquid, whatever. I don't know what hot liquid you drink. I don't like coffee. I should you know I should let you know that. I don't like coffee. I think coffee is yucky. I do like tea. Big fan of tea, right? Not fruit, fruity kind of teas kind of freak me out a little bit. Uh, but like a black tea, like an Earl Grey, which is a black tea, but it's gray? I don't know. English breakfast. Now that's a tea I can get behind. That's a solid tea. Right? Uh, what other hot drinks? Cider? Oh man, I will drink a cider. Like all day long, I will drink a cider. I will, um, I will take some cinnamon and I'll put it in my cider. Yeah, that's gonna make my day better. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Um, a chai? No, that's a tea though. So I don't know if it really counts. Um, what other kind of hot beverages are there? I don't know. Do you consider like broth to be a, a hot beverage, like a miso soup that you know maybe just has a couple of little scallions in there? Feels kind of soupy. I don't know. It's like what kind of what kind of tea do you like? Oh, I'll take the chicken tea today, please. Warms me up, fills me up, makes me feel good about everything out there. Like, oh, sorry, we don't have any chicken tea, but we do have these dried up leaves that you can put in hot water and then it'll turn your water brown. Oh, well, that sounds delicious. My, uh, my youngest kid, he's, uh, I don't know how old he is, seven, 10, 43, I don't know, but he, he's adorable. 
and he sees I drink a lot of tea. And he uh, recently he was like, you know, I, I wanna I'm gonna try some of that tea. And I said, oh oh oh, are you? And I, I let him have a little sip of my tea. Uh, you know, not wanting to get the child caffeinated because uh, he doesn't need the energy. If I'm to be honest, I need I need all of the energy. I am a robot whose battery is always low, and so I need the energy. And But I let him have a little sip just to see if he liked it, and he did. And so I went out and I bought him a little box of decaffeinated tea. And now that I'm saying that, I kind of wonder if there's any caffeine in that, because even though it says decaffeinated, I wonder if it's just it means it has less caffeine or if it means there's none I, I don't know but I should now I'm thinking I should find that out um, and he loves the whole process of making tea and I, I, I think I like part of that too where you you have your uh, your water the kettle it's on the the fire and it's it's boiling and it's whistling and while that whole thing is happening you you go and you get your mug or whatever you know kind of thing you're putting your 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 hot tea into you put the tea bag in you we we've discovered because i used to put uh sugar in my tea because i like a little sweet tea because i'm from the south and that's what we drink but now i've discovered uh something called monk fruit which is uh i don't know what it is i know nothing about it i just know i was in a store and someone said, would you like to try these strawberries? They've got a little monk fruit on them. And I was like, yeah, I'll, sure. And this wasn't even like someone who worked in the store. This was just like a random person. I think they pulled it out of their pocket, if I'm to be honest. I uh, it wasn't like at a station. It wasn't branded. It was just, I yeah, wow. I don't know, maybe... Maybe monk fruit is doing some, you know, guerrilla marketing now. They're just going into stores, berries in their pocket, and trying to trying to turn the masses or something like that. Real uh, grassroots is what they're doing. So no, I I tried it and it was it was I was like, well, this is this tastes fine. This tastes yummy. This is good. And so then it took me two months for that thought to work its way through my brain and get to the point where I was like, I wonder if this monk fruit will be good in my tea. And then it took another month and a half for me to then go find, like be at the store and remember that that was something that I was curious about. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a six month process at most. So any, any thought that comes into my brain, anything that I'm like, you know, that's a good idea. It doesn't just then happen. It has to uh, sit on the shelf for a little while. You know, like, actually what we do is we, uh, we cook it with, uh, and then we, we put it in a, a mason jar, and then we put it on the shelf, and then, you know, you let it rest there, and then we open it, and, oh, and it's delicious, and then we put it back in the fridge. and we, It's a whole process is what I'm saying. And so I finally, it happened, though. I got it. And it's delicious. It 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 it, it doesn't entire. It doesn't a thousand percent taste like sugar, uh, but I would say it's a good eighty percent. And it doesn't taste like the. Uh, I don't like unnatural sweeteners like the the pink packet or the blue packet or the yellow packet. Uh, those all kind of just leave a a bad taste in my mouth. Don't like diet sodas either for the same reason. I just don't. They ugh, ugh. But this stuff ah. Eh, so far so okay so you know I'll keep drinking it um drinking it no putting it in my tea and then drinking it that's what I'll do so the child he he loves the process of we put the tea bag into the mug while the water is boiling uh I've started putting this mug fruit into his tea and he, he he doesn't seem to notice which is nice and um, then, you know, you, you put the water in and he, he enjoys watching it steep. And um, I would like to know the etymology of the word steep. Because it's, you're, you know, just putting the tea bag into the hot water and, and releasing the deliciousness from the leaves that have been dried. And I don't know what steeping is. Huh. But, you know, initially we were trying to teach him like, all right, so you have a tea bag. And then you put it in the water and, and, you know, 
it has to sit in there for a certain amount of time. The water should be a certain temperature. It should sit in the water for a certain amount of time. And we're not that scientific about it, uh, if I'm to be honest. But you, you, you can look at it and you can see, like, okay, that that water looks plenty dark to me. Like, I feel like it, it's, it, it's got enough tea flavor. And then also try to explain to them that if you leave the tea bag in there for too long, if you forget it in there, it might turn bitter on you. You don't want that. No, no, no bitter. No bitter, no, no, buddy, no bitter. So, you know, he, he's constantly, he's like, has it steeped enough? Has it steeped enough? And I'm like, I think it is steeped enough. And so then he takes it out. And then what we do is we leave like an inch at the top of his mug and we put some ice cubes in there just to cool it down. You know, I don't want to burn them. I want him to enjoy his tea. And um, so then we, we have, I have a tea buddy. Like we, he, we, go to, we go to the restaurant and we, if we get breakfast and uh, he's like, uh, she's like, and what, what will you have, little man? Some chocolate milk? And he's like, actually, I'd like some tea. Decaffeinated, please. And I'm like, oh, you're so fancy. Look at you, little fancy man. And uh, the waitress is always, you know, they're always really amused by it. That, that he's being so fancy and he uh, and and the last time we went she was like and would you like some cream or she, and he was like no 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 half and half for me he knows what half and half is I don't even know what half and half is I just know it's kind of milky stuff and it's all it, it comes in a little bowl type situation and it's put on the table and then you you put it in coffee and stuff and it makes it look neat and cloudy and everything I don't really know if it if it changes anything but you know so she was asking him this and um, so we go to the same diner every so often and it was great because we went there just he and I the other day and uh, we're, we're at the table it's the same waitress that we normally get and she comes up and she has all these you know big smiles and oh how are you well, you look at you guys and we're like hey and then she lo- she goes so how, how's it going and and my younger son has picked up on this social cue and he said <laughs> I'm not sure you really want to know how much time do you have The Bumper Podcast is an oftentimes hilarious weekly romp with Natty Bumper Car and some of his pals. It is family-friendly, clean, and ridiculous. Thanks a bundle for listening. If you love our show and you'd like to help support the podcast, check out our Patreon page at https colon forward slash forward slash www.patreon.com forward slash Natty Bumper Car. Also, pretty please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Share it with everyone everywhere, post about it on all of the social medias, or leave a rating and review. The Bumper Podcast is produced at headquarters in Coffee Can Alley. It's recorded, mixed, and produced by producer. The Bumper Podcast features contributions from Aloysius J. Pig, Rufus T. Rufus, Doodle Poodle, Robot, Trunks, and a gaggle of other silly rascals. Our head talker is probably Natty Bumper Car. We also have an absurd newsletter. Check it out and subscribe at nattybumpercar.com slash subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Natty Bumper Car. Hugs and hearts. See you soon. This has been a non-productive media presentation. Executive producer, Frank Hablaoui. This program and many others like it on the Non-Productive Network is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License. Please share it, but ask before trying to change it or sell it. For more information, visit non-productive.com.